morning YouTube and the rest of the world well we're all ready and heading off this is day five <laughs> Day five. Hopefully the weather sticks with us today. Sweating me nads off now. Ooh. fresh crisp morning it is so Land's End is the third furthest point that we're heading for today just leaving Hereford now seems we've lost helmet head and sidekick so I'm the leader of the pack edit buds, buds will be happy because uh, him and helmet head are fighting for dominance between the two of them it's a love-hate relationship So yeah, hopefully we keep this blue sky all the way down to sunny Cornwall. I woke up this morning looking like a chicken because me me feather um, sleeping bag had popped. Uh, buddy looked like a chicken. He was. I got out of the tent. I was spitting feathers and they were, oh, they were just everywhere. So I've I've sewed that all up. Hopefully that'll hold. Emptied the tent as much as I could of all the feathers. I'll post a picture now. One the wife took when she woke up, she thought it was hilarious. Yet again, thank you everybody to, uh, who's donated for such a good cause. It's been a, a grueler the last four days, and no doubt this one won't be any different. It's about 322 mile today which is quite a nice day compared to the others I have decided to add an extra night to this journey which I'm spending in an hotel before I head home that's for sure anybody that hasn't subscribed please hit that subscription button hit that little bell show some love and uh, You'll be able to follow the rest of the videos and uh, mine and Buddy's adventure or adventures. Hope to do a bit more kayaking once the weather changes. Hereford itself, wow, that was an eye opener last night. Saturday night, every pub had stopped serving food at 8 o'clock. So we found a nice pizza place. They uh, kind enough to let Buddy in, bless him. He had pizza as well. And, uh, and we went back to the pub and they shut at 11 o'clock on a Saturday night. It's like, wow. And we come out of the pub, it just gone 11 and the place was like a ghost town. But at 8 o'clock it seemed to be like party central. You right, buds? You right, kids? Yeah? Good lad. So I checked the shop this morning. It's no worse. It's obviously not going to be any better. But uh, it's no worse. It's not dripping, you can just see it's had a good soaking. Uh, there's nothing on the tyres. And uh, that was the deciding factor to carry on. Otherwise, uh, if it had been any worse, that would have been our end point. But, uh, yeah, we decided to carry on. I really do want to finish it. I obviously don't want to kill us, but... Uh, at this point I deem it safe enough to to carry on it's not playing on my mind like it was the first day 
um, especially heading out to the westest point that was a, a, a bouncy bouncy single track route for a lot of miles but uh, it's looking to be a beautiful day we have some amazing scenery in this country and this is what for me this is what motorcycling is all about look well we had a, a nice little breakfast stop Monmouth services Greg's for breakfast lovely ladies in Greg's gave us a free Greg's so we're uh, happy to support the cause little buddy melted on he got us all free sausage rolls and a free sausage for himself so we're gonna crack on now we've got 279 miles which says we'll be there for uh, three o'clock which means six o'clock because <laughs> that's obviously three o'clock if we don't stop again but my uh, my good wife will definitely need coffee so obviously these videos that you're now watching are uh, will be up after um, we've completed this charity ride but the Just Giving page is still open so please do, feel free to click on that link and, and donate whatever you feel comfortable with and uh, please help us support the charity that we're trying to make money for which is the Rainbow Trust Children's Charity and they basically um, help families that have got very ill children or terminally ill kids and uh, just the fact that they, they need them happy memories and that's what this charity I think manages to give them um, leading up to the time where they've got to say goodbye and I can't contemplate that that must be so hard for any parent to uh, to say goodbye to a child I lost my daughter 25 years ago and uh, it was quick she died of cot death and to this day a part of me is still broken but to have to plan that to have to think that that's my child's and my future that at some point I'm gonna to have to carry that little coffin I, I can't comprehend that that's just soul destroying as is any death of any child you know we all think that our kids are gonna bury us definitely not the other way around so yeah anybody anybody that can donate please it'd be much appreciated I'm always blown away by the generosity of people uh, just like the, the ladies in Greg's at Monmouth services they really did you know step up to the mark they've they're gonna donate and uh, they they gave us free food which they really didn't have to do between Buddy and Helmet Head is quite funny. Um, Helmet Head's terrified of him. And Buddy knows it. And he also knows that, you know, he's a lord. And he's a lord. And he wants to be top dog lord. So he keeps picking on him. Any time he comes close to him, he grabs at him, tries to bite him. But I can see it's, it's starting to get Helmet Head down now because he really, he's got to the point where he just wants to be friends with him. But he's like, you know, I will dominate you. You will submit to me, peasant. Take me out off to both of them. They really have uh, stepped up and organised an amazing charity ride. And uh, just the routes, the campsites, everything, all the work they put into it um, has really paid off. And they are such a good combination, the two of them. So if you've not seen any of uh, Helmet Ed's content, go and have a look. He's uh, I've learned a lot of him in the last few days. He's very good at what he does, and that's why his channel's growing so quick. And he's a very funny man. They're both funny, um, and it's a good combination, really. It's, uh, and I think that's why it makes it such a pleasure to watch them. 
the chap behind me, uh, Mick, he's a lovely guy. He's never even seen one of his videos. He just turned up day one and he said, Hi, I'm Mick. I've seen your post on Facebook and I thought I'd like to have a go at that. And he got his pannier and appeared and he turned up. And But he got no clue about YouTube, YouTubers or anything. He's a lovely guy. But it's quite funny, you know, that uh, just a Facebook post that enticed him to buy a tent, put it on his bike. He's 67 years old. And he thought, you know what, it's for a good cause, I'm going to come out and have a go at that. And that's what he's done. Absolutely bloody amazing. <laughs> What's up, buds? Um, you want to get out, kid? I've even found you. Well, you know we're waiting for? We're waiting for the rest of them. <laughs> he was pulling too, so I just thought I was going, oh, what are you going to slam? Weren't you? You were right down there. Oh, Ratty as hell. Ah. You know he loves you, really. He's faster because he does think. See, look. <laughs> See, look. That's why, look. <laughs> Just He's found one that loves him. This one doesn't love anybody <laughs> but me. Oh, yeah. To be fair, he's been good as gold. This is the longest tour on a bike that he's done. We did a three day around Wales, but, but obviously that was a much more leisurely, leisurely pace as it was a like a holiday, if you like. This is nowhere near an holiday. This is full on. Let's get the miles munched. Let's get these points ticked off. Let's raise the money for this charity because I will definitely be glad to see the back of this turtle outfit. But I committed to wear it for the whole duration of this trip, so did my lovely wife, so we have. We did take the uh, helmet covers off um, yesterday and half of the day before just because they were that damn wet, the weight of them was unreal. But they're dry again now and all fluffy and looking nice. Well, we're heading to uh, Lizard Point now. The weather is absolutely stunning. But he's got the buggers in him. He just wants to see everything. And he's, uh, it's obviously warmed up now. So he thinks it's a good idea to uh, stand up on his front feet and try and stick his head over the windshield. Naughty little bugger. But then when we get pick up speed, he sits back down. As soon as we get anywhere that's 30 mile an hour, oof, that's him out the back. Scared the bloody life out of me. Well, here we go. The Lizard Point. The furthest southern point of the UK. Yeah, we're also going to go um, around to Land's End. But this is the official for this southern point. I had a well deserved break because all our ass is hurt. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Well, here we are, Blizzard Point, the furthest southern part. What a beautiful day it is. Look at that. Hey, buds. What do you reckon, kid?
the last destination for today is Land's End. Oh, my bomb hurts now. I say last destination. This is the last destination before the campsite. And uh, feeling a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. My ass hurts. But it's been a good day. Weather's been beautiful. It was actually too hot at one point. I know that sounds a bit strange, but it was too hot. But he's whipped his goggles off again. And he's like, it's too hot for that. Just get them off. So, because he's got such a big screen, I've let him have his goggles off. Well, his Rex specs. Hey, buds. We made it, buds. <laughs> Fairest point in the UK, Southern. Well, I've got to say, I feel absolutely exhausted, but that is uh, one charity road trip pretty much done. The four furthest points of the UK Johnny Groats, Furthest Western, Furthest Southern, and then tomorrow is the last one, which is the Furthest Eastern. And then this trip really is. Over and done. So that's us leaving uh, Land's End. It's the third one covered. Well, the fourth one because we also did uh, Lizard Rock. So the uh, second one today. One more to do, and that's the furthest eastern. And that's uh, the lower stuff. Well, that's tomorrow. Now we've just got a Probably an hour and a half ride to uh, Newquay where we've got a uh, campsite booked for the night. So I reckon it'll be about, well, it'll be gone seven o'clock by the time we get there and get set up. You know, absolutely bloody starving. It's cooled down a bit now though. It was bloody hot today. Bloods is heading off. He shut his port hole, gone to sleep. He said, I have seen enough. He made me take a load of beautiful photos of him. Little poser he is. Ratty as hell, he's as ratty as hell. She's suffering with the knees still, bless her. To be fair, I'm proud of both of them. They, uh, they've done well to sit on this bike for the amount of hours in a day that I've asked them to with minimal brakes. And it has been go, go, go. <laughs> My body definitely could uh, clarify that. My shoulders are still hurted from uh, the west coast. <laughs> the furthest western point. What a road that was. But hey, that's how memories are made. That's how memories are made. Living the dream.